um, we are on the mono white hate bear stack here so um, as far as the spells that matter here, we got the four Leona Arbors, four Thalias, one Warping Whale, four Displacers, two Big Thalias, three Dismembers, four Simeons, one Restel, four Thought Knights, four Smashers, and four Chalices. Um, some of the lanes that are utility would be the Chef at Dunes, the Canopies, the Ghost Quarters. Then we also have the Ejago Castle. Um, over in the sideboard, um, see what they got going on here. We got the three rest in peace, two stone leaves, two honor guards, one cast out, two worship, a consume, the meek, a warping whale, and two carns. So uh, I was turned on by this deck, but someone that posted it on Reddit um, a while back, and I saw an updated list, so figured I'd try it out. And Blake, you guys should come over early on uh, Sunday, so when then we can uh, set up the area and whatnot. So <laughs> there's a severe lack of drowners to go with those displacers. You're not wrong, but we get to do some pretty fun stuff still. So. Well, we've got a turn two Arbiter or Thalia and a turn three Thought Nuts. So that's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and keep this. And we'll just start off with this temple and we'll pass it over. Five wouldn't be bad. Four, four, thirty might be better. Unless you guys wanted to go get lunch somewhere, then definitely like three. Um, serum visions. Well, not much with that so far. Let's just lead off with a Thalia then. Since we're not quite sure what they're on, but this will interrupt and slow down most decks that are blue. run out thought not let's see what they got working with okay whole lot of lands holy crap uh three fields a watery a creeping tar pit they got a uh a cryptic command and a snapcaster let's just go ahead and take their cryptic and we'll smash in on them Um, I don't know. I, I invited the other Swish guys so, uh, and gals, so if anybody wanted to join, they were welcome. Um, I don't think I heard a confirmation for anyone yet other than you, but I have also been blasting the chat with conversations about other things, such as the upcoming events. Alrighty, we're still pretty solid here. We're going to crash in on them. So we have the option of running out Thought Knot again. We can take the Snapcaster from them at the very minimum. I would hate to get caught with a Wrath here, um, but they shouldn't have anything. So like they kind of like Bounty's Last Reckoning maybe. Um, mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, I think we're just gonna go for it though. We're just gonna pressure them and try to have um, the win on this upcoming turn of ours. Okay, they're just going to concede. Cool, cool. So, they are a control deck. Blue-black control. The only thing I'm thinking about is the card, just for the consistent card draw. Seems pretty sweet. And we could take out two dismembers. No, let's take out a warping whale. 
and leave in the dismemberment back and hit the creeping tar pits. And we'll leave in the rest. Uh, you know what? Let's also bring in the cast out. So we'll take out a dismember for the cast out. I think that's going to be a little bit more um, versatile, even though it's not going to hit the land for us. Mm, small Thalia into Big Thalia? Sure. So I find that Consume the Meek, like, really crazy. Like, is our only way of casting that? Like, I don't... How do we even cast that? Like, what is going... Why is that in our cyborg? I'm so confused. That has to be an error, right? Good at ripping our hand apart. City? I do not know what our opponent's doing right now. I want to see how they're going to interact with our creatures. They're just letting it hit. Okay. I think I'm going to just play the canopy and pass turn then. Inquisition's fine. And we will draw a card. Displacer to our hand. 
and tap all of our creatures. I think we're pretty much okay with that. And then that's gonna let us one, two, three, four. You can either slam the Karn or slam the Thought Knot. I think Thought Knot here is pretty sweet since they only have two cards left. And we'll take the Ceremonious, run out of Canopy, and pass it over. Sure. Drucker. We got a combat. Get the swings in. And we'll pass it over. <clears throat> well, it's in a pretty bad spot. Alrighty. Starting off strong with a 1 0. Best deck in modern. Undefeated. Got a turn to Thalia, which is pretty good. And then we've got a Smasher coming up. So let's keep this. We've also got some interaction, which is always solid. Dredge deck? Definitely a dredge deck. Just run out the temple and pass it over. Getting up Thalia would be good. Would have been better if we were on the play to slow them down even more. But, you know, we can't always be on the play. Thalia. Mm, good, they haven't hit any treasures. Mm, now they have treasures. And a chill. Pretty good for us. OK, 
can just run out Thalia. Hit them for two and pass turn. us with another chair. Cast long. They're going to get back two blood gas and three amalgams. That's rough. Everything's coming into play tapped. We can run out Smasher and I guess. Block stuff, block three things, tick four, and then we die to conflagrate. Yeah, we're just dead here. Okay. So let's bring out. From my understanding, the honor guard should stop the amalgam triggers. So let's bring in those. And then we'll bring in the three rest in peace. And then we'll also play a cast out. Hit their graveyard a good bit. Warping Whale's not bad either. I think we're good on those, and I still think this Consume the Meek is incorrect, and not supposed to be in the deck. Um, I think we're good to cut the Arbiters. They don't seem great in this matchup. They have some fetching going on, but it's just, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like, maybe it's supposed to stay in there and punish them more, but it doesn't seem like a, a really great way to go about it. Um, <laughs> Thought Knot seems good. Smasher seemed fine. Dismember seemed really costly for us. I'm still leaning on these Arbiters. And then just cut out one more card. I think we take out the Restoration Angel. The Kato will make things a little weird because we won't get the triggers from Thought Knot either. But uh, I think that's fine. Got a chalice on turn two, and it's a coddle as well. It's not bad. I think we're good enough. This is this is gonna be where we're gonna be at. So we'll keep this. Simeon would have been really sweet. on one and pass it over.
opponent shipped it back to us, which is kind of weird. Must have just hit their land. Run out of Thalia. Pass it back. Then we'll either decide to run out the Honor Guard or the Smasher. I'm thinking we're going to run out the Smasher. Because they don't have anything going on yet. And looks like they're a little off from being able to do anything anyway. So. It's an Amalgam. Well, if they have an Amalgam, maybe we should run out the Honor Guard so they can't bring it back. Yeah, let's do that. We're pretty safe to just draw here. No issues, and we got a Simeon. Not the Ghost Quarter. We could Ghost Quarter their Blood Crypt. That'd be pretty rude. <laughs> uh, If we can do that one more time. good. We can go Chalice on turn two, Thalia or Thought Knot on turn three. We could use a rest in peace. Stink weed and a life. Okay. Well, we'll run this out and we'll pass it over. I don't think they had anything really relevant other than the life from uh, the Faithless Loadings. So that's fine. Faithless. Are they thinking about holding off since they don't have too much going on? Alright, well, let's try this chalice on one. So blood guest in the graveyard now. Mm-mm. 
Mm -mm. It's an honor guard. Wouldn't mind getting that in play, but I think we're better off getting our bot knot in play and exiling something out of their hand. Let's see what they're working with. Kung flag would be annoying. I feel like that's our best hit. Because that's going to be the way that they can discard their whole hand. So let's hit that. And we'll pass it over. Yeah, creeping chill and narco amoeba. how they're going to approach this now. They could hard cast the stink weed out. Or the creeping chill. Yep, they went for the hard casting on the stink weed out. So, we can just exile it. Or hold up the warping whale for a potential kun flag later. Because we could just run out the uh, the Thalia and the Honor Guard. Thalia just dies to Dark Blast, which doesn't seem really worth it as a result. Maybe we just run out the Honor Guard and hold up Warping Whale. Because we don't really want to run out Smasher, it'll just die to the Stink we did. Do that. I think we just pass the turn because if we go for the swing, they'll dark blast our thought knot, and then they could just well, they, yeah, they can't block. So now we'll just we'll go ahead and exile the stink weed now. Dark Blast gets countered anyway, so that's irrelevant. And they just have a Copper Line Creeper and a Creeping Gore, a Creeping Chill and a Prized Amalgam left. So we really don't care beyond that. So we can just go ahead and smash her. When it's thinking and thinking, I think we're fine to block. If they dark blast, it just gets countered, so I don't really know what else they have. They got two wooded foothills in hand. 
Okay, they're bringing back their blood gas. That's fine. I think now we are actually on the Smasher game plan. they do stink beats not bad they could just play that we'd have to double smasher and it dies uh, they're gonna come fly uh, the ancient grudge destroy our chalice that's root of them They don't see the other smasher line and don't go for the um, hard casting here and they just go for the faithless loading. It'll be pretty solid for us. I think we'll just take the hit. That way they can't discard their Algums and get any triggers. Okay. So we can run up the Smasher, swing with the team, put them to three, and they have to block the Thought Knot, but they would get a draw from that to get a dredge. Alternatively, we can run up both Thalias. And just pass turn and then next turn swing with the entire team. I think that sounds better for us. They could creeping shell just bring themselves up to seventeen. Dark blast of Thalia. Sure. I'm surprised they didn't want to save that for the honor grid this time. The faithless. Hit another grudge and a loan and a cun flag and a dark blast. The cun flag is worrisome. Okay. Well, they've got one blocker, and they can only block I thought not, and that should be lethal. you want to block opponent
Is your opponent trying to figure out how they can live? Because they can't. Boom. Ah, uh, yeah. 2 and 0. hand. I think we're going to go ahead and mull this hand. It doesn't have much going on and we can't even cast our Thalias. This hand's rough. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, hmm. I guess we'll keep it. We'll send that to the bottom. We really want to land here. So... And they would be a creature deck. They don't even care about Thalia. Well, we just need to keep drawing lands. That's that's gonna be the key for us, folks. All right, man. I was uh, I won't actually see you tomorrow. I just found out that I am uh, in need of uh, helping out another friend, so I won't be able to make it tomorrow as a result. So I do apologize, but I will miss out on uh, any paper magic tomorrow. What is this four color nonsense? Oh, Ballista. Okay. Goodbye, Thalia, or goodbye, Thalia. All right, sounds good, man. Okay, this is a pretty out there deck. Um, Primal Command will keep them in the game. Time Warp, well, just let them take another turn, that's it. I guess we'll take Primal Command and pass it over. And honestly, we just want them not to hit a land. Alright, they're just running out Tracker, which is fine with us. And an Arbor. On Eldrazi. They're going to go pretty crazy on their turn. And they could just choose to go to one here. We'll have access to like six mana. That means they can time warp, time warp, beat us up for four. Hmm. 
And the land is solid for them. They can just trigger tracker, draw another card, and then time warp, beat us up for five, and then see if they have enough mana to tooth and nail and twine if they get lucky. don't hit anything big, I don't think we should be afraid of anything at that point. And they should just be able to add a counter on Ballista, and that's pretty much it, and we win the game. That Thalia doing work with that Wooded Foothills. Utopia means if it goes back to their turn, they're probably gonna win. So we'll try to draw a card. Hmm, dismember. Great. Should be game. They could block down three things, but that's not enough. Sweet. All right. So warping whale seems really good here. Um, beyond that, I think I want to see cast out, but I'm not really impressed with anything else. So let's just bring those two in. Take out a Restoration Angel and a Displacer. Well, this hand's interesting. We've got a turn one chalice, which is pretty strong. And it's with a temple, but uh, it's gonna be interesting because we really need to hit some lands here to make this work. But uh, we'll see if it, it does work or not. Um, let's go ahead and 
get the chalice out. thinking about whether or not we wanted to dismember, but I feel like just uh, getting the chalice out now is worth it, and we can dismember next turn. Let's see if I'm wrong. Oh my gosh, an overgrowth. Okay, so we don't really have much going on then. Let's go ahead and hit that bird. And pass it over. thought not. And we can take the time warp and leave them with the uh, the ballista. But if we leave them with the ballista, they'll be able to shoot our... Oh, nope, we're taking the ballista. So otherwise, we're just going to be able to kill our thought not, which is no good. No good at all. We've got all the mana in the world. Let's see what they want to do with it. At the very least, we're taking an extra turn. If we can get back to our turn, we can Leon and Arbiter, which will make their Tooth and Nail and Twine shenanigans cost an extra mana, which will be really good for us. I mean, extra two mana, which will be good. Tracker, okay. Not as bad as it could have been. Pain glacial worm? What the crap? <laughs> okay. Alright, so we've got to run out this displacer. Pass it. We're going to take nine. And then we'll go to five. And then we can start displacing that and uh, hope for the best. We can only do that a couple turns here before we uh, die to our own horizon canopy. Still nothing. We have to pass it again. We need to hit at least another land so we can do this without painting ourselves. But now that tracker's gonna get pretty big. Should swing with the whole team. I think if they swing with the whole team, they just do they win? No, they don't win. But all right, well we're we'll have to trade with the tracker. again and blink that horn. They're gonna get another card. I 
do not think we're coming back. They have too much going on. Yeah, we're just dead because we have to use the... Well, no, we don't. We don't have to use the canopy. So we can block a follower, blink the panglacial worm, and then um, eat the other one if that's what the route they want to go. Do the same thing. I just don't think we're going anywhere. Three, six. Hey, they can cast Emrakul, right? Like, that's three mana, six mana, and then this is twelve mana, and then they do it again. Right? Are they choosing not to do it? I'm tap up to one creature and up to one land. I'm confused. Don't they have Emrakul mana and win the game? What is going on? I'm so confused. Like, am I miscounting that? It's actually three, six, and then nine, twelve, and then they have enough regular lands just to tap for it. All right, now they're doing it. Yeah, you get a big squid. Alrighty, let's do that again. Cause it was so much fun. I want to If we would have just got some more lands going on early on, I think we would have been able to keep up and take over. But
opponents making uh, long decisions here getting their getting their thinking on for their cyborg plan So this is a pretty solid hand. We'll, we'll keep this. We got to do um, Thalia things to slow them down and then go into Arbiter plays here. In an ideal world, we'll be able to actually do the lock here with um, the Arbiters, which will be pretty nice with that Ghost Quarter, and take them off land. Ooh, especially if that's that the way we're going to go about it. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so we can either go Thalia here or go Arbiter. Thalia might slow them down just enough, which seems worthwhile. And then next turn we can go the Ghost Quarter play. They're not allowed to have mana. So we will just dismember that. See what they're playing with. Ooh, a whole lot. But uh, we'll start with the earliest one with the mana. And go with a Thalia swing. Doing the tax things, three and zero. See if we can take home a trophy. This is a okay hand. We get to do the Arbiter things, so we'll lead off with the temple and pass it over. Right, looks like they're on the amulet stuff. So, we can't power out 
an Arbiter and Ghost Quarter, unfortunately. So we still will run out the Arbiter, though, and pass it over. Ho 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 ho. See if we can two for one them here. Well, off that gruel turf, that'd be sweet. Do they have an Azusa and go crazy? Yeah, they got an Azusa. Unfortunate. But that's just a temple. E E Alrighty, so I think here we're just gonna play Ghost Quarter, play out the displacer, hold up Ghost Quarter, and swing with the Arbiter. Ghost quarter, depending on what they want to do. We could hit the Gruel Turf, and then they would just have to bounce another land. And have to pay for the grill turf unless they want to uh, lose the, just the land here. E for two, goodbye Arbiter. Can thought not them though. And hopefully, oh, they just have a stirrings. Okay. Is actually pretty bad for us because it was what they needed, so now they can Teleria West and get a Titan. That is unfortunate. They should only be able to 18 us, right? Or 16 us?
another summoner's pant. Mm. I have to pay for Pact, which is fine for them, I suppose. And then they won't be able to give it haste, though, because they have to pay for Pact and the Titan. No, they'll just get two lands, obviously, and go about their whole thing. We can blink it. That's pretty much all we've got going for us. We can blink one Warping Whale the Azusa. Is that all we really can do though? Warping Whale the Azusa right now. So they can't do any bounce land shenanigans beyond just your one land this turn. This isn't cube. Should I be cubing right now? Is that shit what I should be doing? I think that's what everybody else is on though, you know? So if I was going to cube, I feel like I, I would just be anyone else. <laughs> how we get out of this and I just don't see it working anyway. strike lands though and then we have to give up both of our creatures yeah this this is over okay we want some honor guards slow them down a bit and then i think i'll take in the other warping whale as well take up the rest though and i'll actually take out the dismembers are kind of awkward they hit the azusa but they don't hit the prime time. For anyone just joining, we are playing some Mono White Hate Bears with Eldrazi in them. And uh, we played Eldrazi Tron earlier tonight for two leagues. Uh, we are 3 and 0 oh, currently, seeing if we can snag the victory.
Mm -mm -mm. So we've got a turn two thought now. If we can hit a white source, this arbor is gonna be great. So let's keep this. Why do I feel like we're gonna have to ghost quarter our ghost quarter? <laughs> uh, let's see what happens. We're gonna start off with exiling that, and let's get a thought not in play. Dismember, sure. Queen Bailoff Coalition Relic. Well, let's take the Coalition Relic. And we'll pass it over to them. To ghost quarter them off that simic, and I think our best bet right now is to just run another thought knot out, and we can take the opposite of the law from them. It's not that big a deal. Maybe we should just be taking the Pact so then they can't go get a prime time. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take the Pact. And then we'll ship it over to them. And we are really hoping to hit a white source on our turn. chamber. Pass turn to them. Okay, they are on five mana. If they hit a bounce land, they can cast the Hornet Queen. That would not be cool. But I think we're just passing turn here. So we can hit the rot farm, and then they just have to invest the mana to go get a basic land. So they'll be off stuff for this turn. Another thought 
Oh, that's pretty good. Well, we'll take the pact. We can blink away all the death touchers. Not ideal, obviously. I think we just need to start swinging, honestly. Probably should have pulled that trigger a while ago and started pressuring them. So then that way we could have been swinging with the Arbiter and the Displacer. We chose the wrong time to go about things. Now, luckily for us, we can blink it, swing, and on their turn, blink it again. They'll have to pay on their upkeep to not do anything. I did not realize Amulet of Vigor was also for permanence. Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to pass it to them. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a nombo that is for us. That's really irritating with that little like this. And they have to decide if they want to draw a card or kill our displacer. Probably killing the displacer. I don't know. I feel like we're this is just over. I, I cannot believe yeah that it's an 8-6 not a 6-6. Six, six. They're gonna be able to play their Hornet Queen and uh, we're not gonna be able to deal with it. Okay. That interaction is so bad for us. Okay, we got a turn two thought knot here. Let's go ahead and keep that. Hmm. Well. Let's 
see what they're on. Thing in the ice, thing in the ice, that's scar, that's scar opt. We'll take their thing in the ice and we can dismember the other one. do the ghost quarter business on them. That seems fun. Do it. Do it. Do it upon it. Those fetch lands. Those fetch lands. I really want to reinforce the fact that our opponents are not allowed to play anything. <laughs> uh, we're so mean. Rest in peace, and we want the warping whale. And Arbiters, Thalia seems solid. Displacers are good. I think the only things we really want to cut, possibly are these smashers. Um, we're just we don't really need to beat them out super fast, so we can just keep them off of their game. So let's try that. Let's see if we can close this out on a 4 1. Seems solid. 
We will gladly do that. And we'll exile that thought knot. We do need to hit like another land or two, but a turn two rest, a uh, turn one rest in peace is going to be sweet. And then we can uh, follow it up with a warping wheel for mana if we absolutely need to. But otherwise, we should just try to hit like a thing in the ice. Sweet. really good at this right now. Well, next time we can slam the Thought Knot. And rip card out of their hand. We've got this warp. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna take care of that uh, that thing in the air. Another thing in the ice without exiling the Thought Scour. Or no, they hit the opt in serum, right? And we will draw a card. Thought that's cool. Alright, let's go ahead and swing in. That's awkward. We have to actually tap this for colorless because none of our other lands can generate colorless. Pretty awkward. But it resolved anyway. No big deal. Lightning Axe. Feeling Lightning Axe y. Yep. Draw your card opponent. Let's see what we get. Looting, looting, beacon bolt, manamorphose. I will take that beacon bolt. We'll pass it over. Sure. It's a blood moon. Good thing we just ripped the waste off the top of the deck opponent. No big deal for us. Alright, we'll pass it over. Firing off the looting. Drake. Well, we'll run out another rest in peace just in case and pass it over. Slash is pretty good for our opponent. 
Well, I guess we'll swing out with the Simeon Spirit Guide. <laughs> Aw, they got a Phoenix. We just need a slightly faster clock than them, and we should get it, but we did tank out the Smashers. Mm-mm-mm. A lot of relevant threats left in the deck. Come on, deck. Another Phoenix. Oh my gosh. over oh Karanos oh that's bad for us <laughs> oh that Bali is not gonna do much here <laughs> oh my gosh you're so dead <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Well, that's game. That Karanos. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. I don't really want to take it on anything else, like maybe the heretics aren't as good but they should slow down the opponent enough and that's all we're really looking for is to slow them down we just kept drawing lanes there so i think we're fine with our game board uh game plan here This is our last game. Let's see if we can get this out. Mm -mm -mm. It's pretty solid. We can do a turn one chalice, and then from there go Thalia, Arbiter, and rest in peace. Yeah. Okay. Got this. if we want to go rest in peace or thalia here if we go thalia we might not be able to get out our rest in peace if we don't hit another land but i guess it's not the end of the world because we can still um run out of arbiter I 
want to run out the Arbiter that way so I can Ghost Quarter here if the opponent taps out. Which I'm just using it as a threat for them not to cast anything. This other arbiter. Pass it over. set our opponent back a good bit here. We can go for the ghost quarter on one land, right? Let's wait till their upkeep, see if they want to do anything. Mm -mm. Really just trying to hold them off. They can't pay for that. Keep them down at just two mana. Woot. Tax life gets there. All right, so that was pretty sweet. And that is going to be it for us tonight. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, on Sunday, we're going to be doing a group stream with uh, Blake Gorby. Um, he's going to be our uh, he's our subscriber right now, and uh, he's a good friend on the um, on the team same team. So he's going to come over. We're going to do a group stream. So see you all on Sunday at six o'clock. Thank you so much for again for joining. Have a wonderful night.